Mary's Garden. Joining us now is Larry O'Neill, and today we are talking about snakes. Yeah, hey, we, garden tips. This is garden <laughs> tips. You know, all these great products also are available at Ace if you see anything you like. Ace Hardware. Here's how to get rid of snakes. A lot of times people call me on the radio show how to get rid of a snake. It comes in one area and hangs out in that area, and everybody's always afraid of it. Uh, get some good contact paper. Don't, you know, don't uh, cheap out on the contact. Okay. Because what you want to do is peel off the contact you know, paper from the back, stuff. wrap it around a large board, you know, something heavy, and the sticky, on, side out. the sticky side out, exactly. And this has been proven to hold a four foot or five foot rattlesnake on a large board. And once the snake gets on there, he can't get off, okay? And then you decide what you do with him after that. <laughs> this I, is my very, first thing would be run, call some, call a professional right, exactly. and say, if, if it's a poisonous snake. Right. right. Okay. If you uh, want to get rid of the snake off there and har not leave him harmless, you know, har unharmed, just a little uh, vegetable oil will take him by it off. Okay? A little vegetable, okay. And then that way, well, but that doesn't necessarily get rid of your problem. But you can take, take him to another area. Yes, you can take him to another area. But we're, and we're not just talking about snakes. We're talking right. about varmints in general. Right, right. right. Varmints that, uh, that, that can ruin your garden. Right, exactly. Hey, how about, now I'm going to get another Nobel Peace Prize for this. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, those old hedges that you have around, you know, you got the trees coming up, the oak trees, the vines that you can't get out. You've been pulling for 14 years. Sure. You know, all those weeds. How do I get rid of them? Well, here's, here is, uh, you know, like Mexican petunia, so, you know, noxious weed will come up everywhere. What you do is you strip all the leaves off of this, mm -hmm. or cut the tip off like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get one of these vials that are, that you can get from uh, a garden shop or anything, and you fill this up with 2,4-D, and you can get this at Ace Hardware. But uh, it's a great little thing to get rid of vines and, and and shrubs, and you slide that right over the tip of that. Now, this is this will relieve a lot of gardeners. You know okay. how many people spend their life trying to do this, but then you bend it down just like that. So this little stem is in contact with the 2,4-D. Mm -hmm. And what happens over the next two weeks, this gets drawn up into the plant, and it's gone really? forever. So, you know, when you have those beautiful azalea hedges, sure. and they've accumulated these things, and you keep having to pull out, this will take care of it, just like this, you know, uh, and uh, easy. This is a few cents. And you can get them in larger bottles, you can do it on larger trees. You know, when you go to a store and you're looking at garden gloves, you're trying to figure out what's good, you know, yeah. what's bad. This is a, one of the best gloves. You know, trying to make it a choice when you're gardening. The, some of the nice things about it, it has this area is cotton, sure. so it breathes and, you're, and it doesn't, uh, you know, make your hand really sweaty. And this area is uh, rubbery, so you can still pick up your items that you're working with and uh, have good. Leather gloves are not really good for gardening, yeah. but uh, nitrile is another thing that you can get. This is chemical resistance, so if you're using chemicals, you definitely want to use this. I know we have like 30 seconds left. Okay. We have a lot more stuff on the table. Okay. So, so what else do we have real quick? I'll tell you what. This is a great thing to keep armadillos from coming underneath your fence. Another thing about armadillos is you want to take your wire, chicken wire, or any kind of wire, you want to put it up in the fence, and you want to make, I'm going to use this contact paper, is you want to make an L like this, if I can get it done. And put the end so it runs on the ground, and the other side, mm -hmm. pack it up against the fence, and the armadillo, can, when he digs in the corner, he cannot get through. So that is a great trip to get keep your armadillos underneath your fence, coming from underneath the fence. And then I take it, uh, what you have over there as far as the cage is, so... If right, you if you, them, yeah, you can use that. Worst or, case scenario, right? Right, or a little netting. You know, okay. any one of those will work for you to get rid of uh, those pesky animals from coming underneath. That's, that's good. We don't, right. we don't need them... Don't need them ruining all your hard work right, at home. Exactly. Hey, thanks so much for coming on again. Right. And uh, for more information about gardening, log on to larrysgarden.com or give him a call.